All right, well, I think I'm here at my next spot. I'm gonna go in, kind of find out what's going on. All right, guys. Pick up a small pipe. Every single time that I'm videoing, people want to call me. People always want to talk to B-Rad. Anyways, so this pipe right here, nice easy load, uh, 200 miles, 400 bucks. It ain't too bad. Uh, another, well, $800 day. So I'll drop this first thing in the morning. And uh, what I was wanting to show you guys is so for FMCSA, how you do straps is every 10 foot, there has to be a strap. So if you have something 20 foot long, you know, two straps or whatever, I always do more. Um, the thing is, is not being, I'm not trying to be lazy. And me, I just want to make sure every single thing on my trailer is secure so if i gotta put an extra strap on it i will i could get by with two on this one and uh you know, when you're doing your straps and the reason why i say this is i actually saw a guy the other day that was hot shotting brand new and he didn't even know how to use ratchet straps at all and he had been at the drop site since eight that morning and it was like three and he was still trying to situate his load so you know i went over there and uh just tried to help him out gave him some pointers you know on, on how to do it he didn't even know how to do a ratchet strap he i don't even know what he did but he had um the ratchets gone through all crazy here's how i do mine i know some people might cry and complain um, the reason why is I'm a one-man show so some if you if you have your if you have your hooks just regularly on there sometimes when you go to the other side they will fall through so you know like this you go to the other side by the time you get there it done fell out and stuff so I just I go over it once and go back in it kind of locks it on and just pull it tight that's how I do mine go up and over I'm gonna just start making stuff from scratch. So FMCSA, <clears throat> every 10 foot, you gotta have a strap. These straps right here are from Home Depot. These are like $9 straps. And the same guy had some beat up, uh, frayed up straps. And you can't, these things can't be cut up. I think like, it can only be like a quarter of an inch. But anyways, these are 3,300 pound straps. So this load is like, I think 6,000 pounds. So I got 9,000 pounds of securement on it, 10,000. These are all 3,300 pounds. So nice and easy. Just make sure that, you know, everything's nice and good. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how I uh, do my straps. And there's a lot of people that do them different ways, but this is the way that I've found that works best for me and it's nice and clean. Take it. You run the strap through here, right here, pull it, and then you pull back through, just like this. This guy that was doing that hot shot stuff the other day, should have watched this. Pull it tight. 
Put it on it. Then I take them and I roll them up like this. This is how I roll my straps up. Just like this. Take this, put it through, go around, pull it tight. The reason why this is so good is if this falls out, comes up, comes out or whatever, and it's dangling, it's just gonna dangle. It's not going to go up under your tires and make a mess. So that, that, that's the way that I found that works easiest for me. All right guys, it's done, load secured. Low 6,000 pounds. Um, they got 10,000 pounds of securements on it. Ran to three straps. And here's how I roll them up. I take them, I roll them, and I pull the access through, go around it, and I put them right here on the red rail. So everything's nice and clean. The other day I got, went through the weigh station, the guy seen my rig, and he even complimented me. He said, you know, uh, I had a low tire. He said, you know, if that was, you know, somebody else would have done a level two inspection, he said, man, your stuff's nice and clean. So, man, I just keep everything clean, man. I even, I even wipe down the rims, you know, my inside rims I do, these tires, I wipe my trailer down. Look at my truck, my truck's all clean. So, I mean, that does make a little bit of a difference. This is the toolbox on my trailer. This is kind of how I like to keep my stuff. I got my chains in there. Uh, I got two 20 footer, three eighths, uh, J70. Yeah, I keep all my straps and stuff right here. I try to keep all my stuff nice and neat. I got these two totes right here. These two totes. And they got uh, edge protectors, my jack, some oils. This one has some more ratchet straps, uh, just some miscellaneous stuff, some binders, snap binders, ratchet binders, and I'll go over all of my stuff one day. I did have to put this lock on here because I cannot get to this one. I did buy this lock, so I need to fix it, but I plan on putting the toolbox and stuff up in here. Setting. Walmart parking lot waiting on a load and trying to figure out what I'm going to do for the day. I know it's a nice day in Texas today, so um, I would like to make some money. So she said the loads, uh, the load board ain't, aren't looking too good right now. So I'm just um had to inch my truck in this parking lot so that, that's one of the bad things about driving with a 40 footer is it's you know i've been pulling trailers for years but i mean it can be hard navigating through these tight spaces and all that so anyways like i said i got my truck over there chilling i think i might go into walmart and look around for some stuff seems like i always spending money so anyways that is what's going on so stay tuned